Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing our first redemption video. Uh, if some of you guys remember, I mentioned that we were going to be redoing some of our earlier videos when we first started the channel uh, for improved sound and uh, video and so forth and so on, okay? So the second video I ever did on my channel was a smoked uh, eye of rum. And so we're going to redo that video today. Uh, last time I did it several, several years ago, uh, I injected this eye of round with some uh, beef soup and uh, soy sauce and things of that nature. So we're not going to uh, inject this one at all. We're going to try to let the beef flavor shine through on this one here. And we're going to be cooking this to a medium rare consistency on one of our pellet smokers. All right. The only time I've used Ive Round since that uh, second video was to make uh, beef jerky throughout, um, you know, our video ex escapades and stuff. So, so today we're going to be doing that. We're going to use this as a three and a half pound Ive Round. We've already taken off all the silver skin, taken off all the fat, and then so now it's ready to be seasoned up. I'm not going to add any additional oil or anything to it because it's moist enough. Um, to hold the binder, all right? Today's <clears throat> seasoning, we're going to be using uh, AB's uh, Level Up Seasoning for brisket and beef. So I really want to try this out. As I showed you guys earlier, AB sent us some of his rubs. So, and it smells fantastic. So I'm interested to see how this tastes straight to the beef. And uh, we're going to kick it out there on the smoker today at 225 degrees. And we plan on cooking it to an internal temperature between 125 and 130. See so if we can hit that medium rare mark. Okay. So let's get this bad boy prepped up. All right, guys, so now that we have our eye around on the Regtech 1070, we're just sitting around waiting for it to get to an internal temperature of 125 to 130, okay? In the meantime, hey, if you guys are not a member of the channel, if you're not subscribed, hey, consider subscribing and helping the channel out. If you guys are interested in some Bad Beast Barbecue merchandise, check out www.badbeastbarbecue.com. So we appreciate all the support that you guys give us. And uh, like I said, consider subscribing to the channel liking this video and leaving a comment below all right back to the cook so our meteor probe has said that we are done at an internal temperature of 124 degrees with some carryover get us to about 127 so we'll go ahead and get her off now all right this got a nice bark on it looking forward to cutting into this we're gonna let this rest for about five to ten minutes we're going to tint it, and then we'll come back and we'll slice it. All right, guys. So you saw we completed our cook. It's been sitting here tinted for about 10 minutes now. So we want to go ahead and slice into it and uh, see what we got here. So uh, we took it off at 124, 125 degrees. and looking for some carryover to take it up a few more degrees. And uh, we're going to be slicing our eye of round with our... Uh, Marauder series, uh, Dow Strong Knife, the red series from the Marauder uh, line. So this is a really sharp knife. I love this knife. If you guys are interested in this knife or any other Dow Strong Knife, I'll put an affiliate link down in the 
description block where you can get 10% off your order, okay? So let's go ahead and cut into this bad boy and see what we got. It's got the room smelling real good. All right, let's go ahead and dig into this bad boy. Let's hope it's uh, nice and juicy. And if we hit that, we hit the mark, so. Oh yeah, looks like it's uh, medium rare. We got a lot of juice on the board. Well, looks good. Smells fantastic. Looks nice and juicy. So make some great sandwiches. So get one more slice here. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, so you saw us slice it up. Smells fantastic. Let's go ahead and cut a small piece of this and get a taste. All right, smells good, man. This AB's rub smells really good, and it's so moist, man. It's got a lot of moisture coming off here, so this medium rare cook should work out really well. All right, time to taste. First of all, let me say that the eye around came out really juicy, okay? 127 degrees was perfect. It's got that medium rare consistency, a lot of juice, a lot of flavor. You can definitely taste the beef flavor from the eye of round, okay? Uh, AB's seasoning is really good. It's got, it's not overly salty. It's got a nice level of saltiness to it. It has a, uh, a, a pronounced flavor of pepper to it, which I like on my beef. So that's really good and stuff. So this is a really good rub. If I had to rate this rub on a scale from one to 10, uh, I'd probably give it, uh, anywhere between an eight and a half and a nine. Okay. This is a really good rub. It'll definitely go good on beef ribs or even a pork butt or what have you so there's there's no sweetness to it it's a good savory rub so nice job ab appreciate it brother so well that's about it so hey, if you guys are interested in the rec tech grill check out rectech.com they got some fabulous grills out there use our affiliate link down in the description block for some discounts also if you guys are interested in a dow strong knife uh, check out our affiliate link down below also for Dow Strong Knives. You can get 10% off of your order. Christmas is coming around the holiday season. So if you're looking for a gift for that pit master or, or that backyard grill master in your life, you can't go wrong with a good knife to cut barbecue or to clean up raw meats before you put them on the grill. Dow Strong has an array of knives. So check them out. Um, like I said, I love Dow Strong. Use our affiliate link and get 10% off, okay? And if you're also interested in some Bad Beast Barbecue gear, hey, check out www.badbeastbarbecue.com. We got all types of stuff out there. Winter's coming around, so get you some long sleeve barbecue shirts, all right? Well, that's about it. Like we always say, where there's smoke, there's fire. If it's fire, then damn it, there just might be a barbecue there. Hey, as always, hey, we'll see you guys around the smoker. Mm-hmm.